Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This one's going to be a quick one, but an important one. This is Better Titles for Beginners. Okay, so it's completely okay if you're not very good at creating titles. In fact, we don't have the innate ability just to make good titles and graphics. Um, but there are a few things just to keep in mind and they only take a second and they make things at least a little bit better. And then if you want, we can take them just a little bit, a little bit more. So let's go have a look at a typical title that someone would make. All right, so in Premiere Pro, and this would be the same for any graphics application, here's our title. I'm gonna to go to the graphics workspace just to get my tools. And in this particular title, that's all the default font size position and the words are there, you can read them, but there's a couple of things to do to make it better. The first thing is pick at least what is the most important words or line of words or word in this title and then make it bigger, really simple. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this by holding the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, just so we can go back and compare. I'll triple click on the top words and it selects the whole line with the type tool and I'll just make this larger. How much larger? Somewhat larger. I'm gonna grab the arrow tool and deselect that. And now let's just go back and, and look at what we had from there to there, there to there. You're not gonna win awards, but at least someone knows what is the most important thing? Because our eyes are always looking for the most important thing. And then we go through that hierarchy, and this is true for a frame in, in video or a, an ad that you're looking at or a web page. What's the first thing you look at? What's the second, third, fourth? So the first thing obviously is that. Now, this typeface is the default minion typeface, and uh, it, 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 it's okay for some things like really boring corporate crap, but let's make it more interesting. So again, I'll duplicate this just so we can compare it. I'll select the type and I'll go to my type menu and just click and start looking at it. Now I've got a great tutorial about easily picking fonts that make sense here. So make sure you watch that one after this one. So we can go through this uh, list of fonts and find something different. I'm in love with the new Acumen fonts. So alphabetically they're up here. So let's just grab that. Now let's go back to what we had before, that, to that, to that, to that. Well, we made the top type bigger. What if we made it bigger and a different font? What if it was bolder and larger? Okay, let's try that. So again, I'll triple click, and we're still gonna use Acumen Pro, but we're going to use a heavier weight, like bold, okay? And what if I raise that up here instead of leaving it the default where it is. So let's go back to what we were. So remember that was the first one, that's our second change and that's our third change. Now all of a sudden, the first thing you're reading is Rolling Meadows Church. The other words aren't, aren't even part of what your eye is looking for until you finish reading the first one. That's just the natural way that we pick apart information. Your eye goes right to that, the other words, and then probably looks at the rest of the frame or the rest of this particular video. But we can take this a step further if we want to. Premiere Pro actually has an interesting little feature to add a background to this, and we can extend that and by default, it's 75% gray. If you click in here, we can make this a, a little bit more interesting. How about we, we grab a warmer color, let's make it brighter, click OK, and maybe change the opacity down a little bit. So now let's go back to the beginning. That was our first one, and that's the last one. Now it's obvious when you look at this. Let me make this larger.
Look at that. I mean, it pops right out. It, it's probably a little bit big. So I'll just drag this down a little bit smaller, put it in there. You can really see a difference very, very simply by only changing a couple of things. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is justification or also called alignment. This is center aligned, and this is another real typical thing. Everybody wants to make things center aligned, center aligned, center aligned, and, and it works okay for this. But let's look at my next title here that I've already completed. Notice that the, the frame itself has a natural area on the right-hand side. If I stuck this in the middle, if I stuck this in the middle, it's going to be in the middle, but it's very distracting. It's hiding the subject the whole time. There's a natural area to move this onto the right, and it's left justified, not center justified. Let's look at the exact same thing here. Again, another one. And this one is, there's more movement in here, but notice how the right-hand side frames that down nicely. And that's through this kind of, and the justification is in this setting right here. And there's also some more justification here. These have more to do with filling up that square. So when I created this, I actually clicked and dragged and added the text inside. So I didn't just click once. That allows me to reflow this and change that frame size. So there are a few more different justifications here. And Adobe did add this recently where you can have the middle, the center, top, bottom, or center aligned too. But it's just, it's worth thinking about. And, and the last one is back to center justification here at the bottom. Just a couple of simple techniques to make your titles at least look better than the default that does not look good at all. Doesn't look good, hard to read, and it's just, it's going to make your work look crappy. So a couple of, of simple techniques. Now, at the end, I'll, I'll have a, a link to my other tutorial, which I have, uh, which is about the book. That's the non-designers book. This is a book for non-designers. Uh, it, it's like the equivalent of, of ramming you through a, a summary of, of what someone would get in, in design school or art school. Uh, but there's really important tips. You'll never, ever look at design the same way after reading this book by Robin Williams. So check out that tutorial and uh, do these few tips. And I guarantee you, even if you're an absolute beginner, your titles are going to look so much better. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. We really do appreciate it because we've got new tutorials for you all the time. If you want to support us some more, you can do that by donating on the videorevealed.com website We've got a new shop there, a new store. Go to videoreveal.com slash shop. You can donate once or monthly. You can uh, pick up a bunch of free stuff and also our um, split screens too that you can uh, use for your designs. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to uh, just let you know as a complete beginner with a little effort, you can begin to look so much better.